kickbacks. If you have a machine, what you'll do is you'll have some kind of strap to either put on the ankle or the foot and basically you just kick back from the machine. So I'm gonna show you the, the way that it's gonna work based on whether you've got a machine or you're doing this at home. Either way, it works. You can even use a band that would wrap around both ankles and that would work too, okay? But hands here, my foot is placed just a couple feet behind the chair or if I'm at a wall, I'm just putting my hand here at the wall or preferably something where you can hold on to, so either a chair or a windowsill. Kickbacks can be really effective if you do them correctly. You come back, I never lock my leg, okay? But what I do is I give a slight bend to, bend to my leg and then I kick back and up. And the farther you get into these, the more you wanna give yourself less rest so you keep it a bounce. A lot of times, especially in my bubbly booty trainer, I'll give you a time. And I want you guys to just go, 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 keep it under tension until that time is up, okay? If you're new and starting, kick it back and just squeeze that booty. Biggest thing I don't wanna see is the arch of the back. The arch of the back is definitely there for specific exercises, but in this one, if you already have a sway back, if you go too high up and you're swaying that back, it's gonna put a lot of pressure there. So keep that back nice and straight, okay? And I only wanna feel my booty on this one. 